Behold, ladies and gentlemen, Champa, destroyer of worlds, consumer of pies. That's right, people, we're into a brand new arc of Dragon Ball Super! The first properly original bit of content we've had, and it only took seven months to get there. We made it! Yeah. I may sound cynical, but bear with me. There's a lot of good stuff in this episode. God of Destruction of the Sixth Universe. His name? Shampa! Oompa! Loompa! Duper de do Okay, I lost my train of thought. This episode didn't have to be much. All it had to do was start off the new arc with some basic plot points and some new characters and maybe kind of get a general feeling about what's to come in the next few episodes. And honestly, it actually did pretty well. We managed to get a better idea about the dynamic between Shampa and Beerus, and it's now finally been confirmed in the anime that Beerus and Shampa are twins. So yeah, that explains all the angst. There's sibling rivalry there, so okay, that explains it. Good job. And actually, I'm really kind of getting used to the idea of Goku and Vegeta training with Whis and then Beerus being in the background saying, You pesky kids, get off my lawn! But the main part of it is that Shampa's just come along to actually show like, hey, Check out this cool thing I found! Isn't it great? Turns out just to be a normal egg. Beerus is so not impressed. And what does he pull out to try and counter his twin brother's move? Some kind of cordon bleu- BIG POSH FOOD THAT IS haute couture AND SO SMALL AND COSTS HUNDREDS AND HUNDREDS OF DOLLARS No, it's just instant noodles. We already kind of had the idea that Beerus really likes all this quaint earth food, but it's nice to know that Shampa's like that too. These huge gods of destruction that can destroy a planet in an instant without any care or resentment whatsoever, only used to the best types of food around, are bested by stuff you can get for a dollar down the store around the corner. It's so Toriyama. Remember kids, the key to Earth's salvation is not just peace, it's also peaches and cream. So in the end, they have a little spat and eventually Vardos goes like, oh, you boys, you're not supposed to fight. You're gods of destruction. You can destroy everything. And then they come up with a tournament. Yeah, actually in this arc, we don't really have a bad guy per se. We actually have a tournament. So it's actually harking back to the days of old with the 22nd Budokai and the 23rd Budokai of Dragon Ball. That's kind of neat. We got back to what Dragon Ball does best. Tournaments. Also, there was a nice little touch with Vegeta actually being reminded of his transgressions with Nappa in the Saiyan Saga. He's actually genuinely shameful of it. It's actually a really nice little nod to how Vegeta's grown as a character and a person. Then Shampa drops the Super Dragon Balls! So we now understand why Dragon Ball Super is called what it is. And there is the biggest planet! Wow! I thought Black Star Dragon Balls were trippy, but planet-sized? What? And then Vegeta, for some reason, just blurts out that Bomber can help with a dragon radar. And then Goku goes like, yeah, I want to fight too! I don't know why I did that, but I'm just gonna go with it. But doesn't Vegeta's offering of Bomber's help seem to you as self? Fish. Like, in the episode, they don't really gain much if Beerus' team wins. The fact that he's just volunteered this and actually not offered no other incentives to do it seems a bit odd. But that's just me nitpicking, really, because the comedic timing of this episode was really good. But I can sort of understand why we're having a tournament, because really, in Universe 7, apart from Beerus, there's really no other threats that can really beat Vegeta and Goku now. And the only one that you could really think of was the other guy that nearly defeated Beerus at one time. He's gonna come in a future episode. But that's the only kind of guy who could be a possible threat and he's already been told that he's not a threat. So yeah, actually we managed to get something that was quite rare in Dragon Ball, especially in Z building of law. So now we actually get to understand via Whis's exposition how the universes work. And actually we managed to kind of get a little bit more of an idea about how the Namekians made the Dragon Balls, or at least that's what I kind of got. I could be wrong, so let me know in the comments if I was a little bit mistaken. All in all, I'm actually really kind of excited for this new arc. My expectations have been raised somewhat. The animation was actually okay. There were little bits where Goku looked a bit dopey and weird, but you know, that's not too bad. And there wasn't really much action, but there really didn't need to be. This was meant to be explaining what's to come. I actually liked it, so solid start. Be sure to tune in next time, guys, for another episode review of Dragon Ball Super. I think we're going to be looking forward to some really good stuff. If you want to catch up with some more videos of me, don't forget to subscribe with that button down there and leave a comment, as well as check me out on Twitter. So until next time, guys, catch you later.